Right, I have 7.30 if you're ready. Okay. All right. All right. I started started to record, so the meeting's being recorded now. Okay. <clears throat> and would you like to do roll call, please? Ms. Simaroli? Here. Mr. Nath? Here. Mr. Tolmer? Here. Mr. Lennon? He said he'll be late. And Mr. Livingston? <clears throat> okay, not yet. Okay. And I'm Joe Cower, so we have a quorum. Okay, good. All right, so let's see here. Um, do we have anybody <laughs> that wants to make any public comments this evening? Uh, uh, I, Bob Fryer, I don't know if I'm the only person that wants to do that. It looks like, unless, did anybody sign up, Joe? Uh, no, just if we could follow the agenda, name and address for the record. Name and address, oh, no. you have three minutes, <clears throat> so Bob. No, no, certainly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Bob Fryer, F-R-Y-E-R. Uh, I'm presently living in uh, 508 Hunter's Path in South Fayette Township. Uh, and uh, I wanted to, uh, as you know, I've been um, spending years trying to uh, um, study and improve uh, the city planning features to help the people in Bridgeville. But I, w I just wanted to quickly mention that with the big $2 trillion infrastructure uh, thing coming through Congress, uh, Brid 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 uh, you guys uh, have got to put together a spectacular economic improvement plan. Uh, and uh, I, I think uh, it would be recognized with the so-called experts that are going to take a look at it and decide if it's worth spending federal, state, and county money on it. Uh, Bridgeville has an ideal location. I just want to go over these four with you briefly uh, because I don't have that much time. The region's primary road, Washington Pike, and all eight of the other secondary roads lead to Bridgeville because it was here 100 years before any of the other communities around here. The exit of the only north-south interstate highway in western Pennsylvania, I-79, is the Bridgeville exit, and it's located 500 yards from Bridgeville Central Business District. Uh, third, the the municipal uh, our municipal neighbors in the market area are Mount Lebanon, Upper St. Clair, and Bethel Park, <clears throat> where the largest member of the highest income families in western Pennsylvania live, spending a maximum amount of retail dollars on services and goods. In the uh, South Hills area <clears throat> communities, uh, Bridgeville is the only one with a street parallel to its main street that is on the same level, which if you uh, decide to continue the uh, two-way couple comprehensive feature in our, it's already in our plan, it will provide consumers with a convenient way to loop around and drive back to the business district to find a parking space or pick up the passengers and uh, <clears throat> two of its neighbors, uh, two of Bridgel's neighbors, South Fat and Collier, have two of the fastest growing populations in Allegheny County. My recommendation, again, as I'm sure you've heard many times, you cannot, this is not the time to be conservative about the comprehensive plan. You've got to put everything in it in terms of solving the transportation problem and the parking deficiency problem possible. You, this is not the time to be conservative in any way. And I, I hope you guys uh, agree with me. Oh, by the one, one last thing, if I can take another 60 seconds, <clears throat> the, the two way couple, uh, Washington Avenue in, in uh, Shady is already part of Vigil's comprehensive plan. And I've found copies from Beckman and Associates, classic development, uh, GAI engineering and Macon engineering that all have all have sent us drawings starting back in guys years ago, all recommending that's like the only way you're going to solve the problem because Bridgeville has two four lane highways on opposite ends and a two lane street in between. I don't know if anybody, not, <clears throat> excuse me. I just uh, want to mention that, and uh, I'll, I'd like to listen to your. Uh, your discussions of some of these issues uh, as the meeting goes on. And thanks for the time, Justin. All right. Thank you, Bob. All right. So let's move on to the adoption of the minutes. 
Are there any corrections um, to the last meeting uh, minutes on March 22nd? No changes, no questions, no comments? All right, I need a motion to approve, please. So moved, Dale. Dale approves, second? Second. second. All right, anybody oppose? All right, the motion passes. All right, so now let's move on to new business. There's actually no new business. So we'll move on to the old business. Now, the first item on the old business is the comprehensive plan update. And we received, uh, or Joe received a uh, email from Bill Henderson, president of the council requesting that we join with the council members to form a committee to discuss the comprehensive plan. And I don't think that Bill, I got an email from Bill earlier saying that he was not going to be on. Um, Joe, do you want to add anything to that? As, I mean, I know certain things, but you probably have more information than I do. Sure. I think what we're hoping to do is make this a joint effort between Planning Commission and Borough Council. The council's already established a, a subcommittee or mm -hmm. a working group that's made up of three council members, Mr. Shashowski, Mr. Colosimo, Mr. Henderson. We're hoping that we could get a similar uh, panel from Planning Commission that uh, by the end of the month have this committee established so that next month and the month thereafter, we can whittle down the six proposals we, we received <coughs> Uh, figure out which ones we want to interview, interview, and then have a candidate on board so that uh, once we have a determination on the funding or where we're going to go with this come late summer, we're ready to go. So uh, that's, uh, that's the plan. All right. Um, now, I did ask Bill a couple of questions. Um, you know, probably there's going to be three uh, planning committee members, commission members, and that... It can be held either Zoom or in person, because I know there are certain people that prefer either way. Um, but there are some valuable members here that we want to be included in this process. So um, if it has to be Zoom, I don't think that Bill has any issues. Um, but preferably, it would be a um, in-person meeting. And that's about all that I know. Um, outside of the fact what Joe said. All right, any team members actually want to say if they're interested or not at this point? Or do you need more info? Oh, Justine, I would just say who, you're talking three people? Yes. Is there anybody that doesn't want to do it? Yeah, I was, I was de I'm definitely throwing my hat in the ring. It's something I'm, I'm very interested in staying close to and contributing wherever I can. All right. I'd be interested in participating. Um, my only issue right now is, is, is I would not be able to do anything, attend any in-person meetings during the day before four. Before, okay. All right. Thirty in the afternoon. All right. All right. My preference would be for Zoom, but you know, okay. we've got mass. We've got you know. Yeah. So. All right, and. Uh, Mike, do you want to join that or, or shall if, I? If you, don't, if you don't want, Justine, I'll be more than happy to do it. It's up to you. Um, I actually you, would like to join. Then go right ahead. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. So with those, that's <coughs> resolved. And then we'll get together with... Justine, sorry, real quick. Are they yeah. looking to limit it to three? It feels like the kind of thing where people who have... You know, definitive interests, the, the more the better to a certain degree, right? At some point, right. it's the returns, but is six versus seven that much of a difference? Mike, if I'm talking you into something you don't want to be a part of. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. Don't tell be, me to stand I mean, down. No, because I, 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 I have passionate. my opinion on, I already have my opinion on, you know, if you're going to whittle it down to three, I already have my opinion on who those three should be. So it's up, you know, well, I, I have no more issue. Be part of. I have no problem with four. It's just that matching what the council has already established. That's why. I mean, we'll do four then. I mean, because Whatever. I do believe that we all what? Oh, I'll make a pot. 
<laughs> Maybe that's the feedback, Justine. There's four people who have expressed interest okay. that they have some heartburn about going yeah. from six to seven that, okay, we'll figure it out. But all right, man, yeah. better, better, more interest than less, I guess I would, I Correct. would, presume. So, right. it, you know, I'll, if, if somebody needs to step back, I can certainly do that, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. here. Uh, and, me, and me as well. This is a good, the other, the other item that you'll see on your agenda is the fact that we need to discuss the active transportation plan which will also require a committee from the planning commission. So <clears throat> I guess we should finalize a comprehensive plan. We'll just tell um, Bill that we're gonna select four, see what happens. And then now do what, can we move on to the active transportation plan? All right. Um, now, Joe, I have a question about that. Is that going to be another cooperation between council and planning? That was our, our intentions, okay. yeah. Okay, all right, good. All right, so- um, but, uh, Justine, this yeah. one's actually, this one's in motion right now. It's out to bid as we speak. Correct. Uh, proposals are due back uh, middle of May. Correct. So uh, this one's gonna be a very fast process. Funding's in place, contracts are in place with the county. Uh, the county's on board with everything. So uh, this one will actually we'll be doing but much sooner before the comprehensive plan. So. So, um, all right. So if once we get. Um, OK, so what's the earliest you're going to need that they would need a committee? June. June for the committee. OK. And then decision by July. It'd be nice okay. to have it for the July council meeting, an award contract at July council meeting. Okay. So essentially uh, the whole month of June would basically be flush out proposals, interview and have uh, a recommendation to council for our July, you know, second okay. Monday meeting. Okay. That, that's ideal. Okay. Perfect. Now stuff happens. We understand, but uh, if we, we want to keep on track, uh, that that's the, uh, the plan. Okay. Now, um, do we want, are the same four people still interested, committee mem commission members, the four commission members interested in joining with the active transportation plan? I see why not. It, it's, it's one and the same in all reality. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's just other people have some kids and, and commitments, so. <laughs> yeah, I would, between the two of them, I would, I would uh, prefer the comprehensive plan. Okay. Um, given the option. Okay. All right. Well, then we'll we'll pencil you in, Tim. All right, for the third one. I mean, for the second one. All right. No, no I said that in reverse. My my preference is the comprehensive plan. You're Correct. saying leave it tentative for that second. I got you. Correct. Okay. I got you. I got All you. Right. <laughs> Joe, anything? Uh, I mean, any comments or questions that you have with us? No, not at all. Okay. I, I think uh, everyone's got a chance to. To review the RFP so they understand, you know, what we're hoping to do with the project. And uh, there seems to be some uh, uh, input or interest from some from the firms that we've solicited. So it, it should be a decent response like we did for the comp plan. Okay, perfect. All right. So let's see. Uh, now, lastly, um, the high yield, low cost projects. Anybody do any uh, thinking about those projects and how to work with them and what to do? Any comments? I mean, we can always shelve them until next month. It's really up to you guys. All right. All right. I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have a comment right now. Okay. All right. Well then, um, all right. So let me just, just uh, do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, so I did talk to the Laura Deklova from the um, parking authority and Laura did request that we do hold off doing anything until about 12 months time period 
when businesses keep get, getting back into <coughs> the swing of things. Um, I personally am looking to better understand the historic actions of the parking committee. I want to know what happened when business was pre-pandemic. And I think that they should be able to provide that information. So I will get back with the parking committee again. Um, I think that uh, I had a meeting with Joe Cower after the last council meeting and better understand that we already do have a per protocol in place for the meeting uh, public speakers. All right, and um, the only other thing that I have is that um, we did talk a little bit last month about um, anything left over from the year, from the 2020 uh, year that we needed to address or discuss or something that may have been forgotten. Anybody come up with anything? All right. I think I think a lot of those projects from 2020 are in, are in that high yield, low cost project uh, group. Right, right. I mean, I did, uh, one of the things that I had always been thinking about last year was the signs, the signage for Bridgeville. And that was finally resolved. That was one of my, my pet things. And I think 2019 and this year their signs are going up. So, and they do look very nice and great job, Joe. So, um, all right, any, questions or comments i have yeah. one go ahead um, you you mentioned protocols for for speakers yes um you said that there are some already in place well there was that we identified well when you when we were in person people actually signed their names and gave what the an agenda item that they wanted to discuss like Jane Doe wanted to talk about chickens, all right? So um, what we did uh, was simply, I noticed on the list that Joe showed me that there was an agenda item listed. It's just that perhaps maybe when we are still in Zoom methods that we identify, we have the speaker identify what they wanna talk about. Okay. Okay. You probably talked about that earlier, and I apologize for being late. Uh, it just no, 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 no. We talked about we talked about it last month, not this month. So okay, all right. Jesse, just a general question, quickly. I know the whole toll booth concept of the Bridgeville interchange is already on the radar of of council uh, at a higher level. Do we, as planning commission, have any? Uh, obligations, the wrong word, uh, outside of just as borough residents contacting our own representatives. Is there anything that we should be doing more aggressively from planning commission to put forward our perspectives? I, I suspect council in conjunction with some of the other boroughs and townships is already doing that. Um, I just didn't want to be asleep at the wheel right, as right. you know, what, what is a potentially very large impact to this area. I'm not right. quite sure where planning commission fits into that whole thing. I'm open to perspectives from Joe or other commission members. Right. Right. I think Joe, can you help us answer that? Sure. Uh, borough council, I, I think you probably read about it, uh, yeah. adopted a resolution, uh, basically opposing it. And it, it lists out, you know, the, uh, the reasons why they're against, against it, mainly, you know, Route 50 traffic, uh, the, uh, the negative effects it's going to have on the community uh, and so on. But we want to have bearing on a regional scale. So we partnered with South Fayette, Collier and Upper St. Clair, and uh, all four towns adopted the same resolution. And we had a cover letter that went uh, to all the senators, uh, the, the governor, the secretary of transportation, our congressmen. Our, our U.S. senators, uh, the Pendleton District Executive, and it was signed by you know all four towns. Uh, if Planning Commission wanted to maybe put a, a similar letter of hey their opposition, uh, we could send that on your behalf. Uh, but uh, I don't know how much more uh, it could be done from the town level. I, I know all the elected officials have been very active with the state officials <coughs> voicing our opposition to it. So. Uh, no one's sitting on their hands. It's been very active. But if Planning Commission wants to get involved, I, I think it would be a similar uh, similar action where, you know, you could 
make a motion if, if to, hey, you, you think it's a bad idea or, or what have you. And, and a letter could be sent on, on your letterhead uh, to the same officials. And, and I'd be more than willing to help if, if that's something you want to do. Well, I, I think it, go ahead. Jim. I, I think it can can only help, right? right. Um, it's it's helpful to get that background because I did read the summary of it, Joe. I knew that we had taken a stance as a borough and as a kind of a community mm -hmm. on a larger perspective. Um, if it's a you know fairly simple gesture that doesn't back you up, I'd be all for it of just kind of echoing and and growing that voice. Um, but it's helpful to get the background that you did on the specific. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I mean, I personally uh, sent them an email, but not as a committee member, so, or commission member, so. If you'd like, I, I could draft a letter with, the, by this week or next week, I'll get you a draft, I'll email to the group, and then if you're okay with it, uh, I could have Justine sign it and I'll send it out for you. Okay, all right. Okay, Tim? Thanks, Joe. I'm good, thank you. All right. All right, so anybody else have any questions or comments from the commissioners? Uh, one other question. Yeah. Um, is there anything new with new developments as far as uh, Baldwin Street, McLaughlin Run, Joe? No. Okay. I, I think it goes back to uh, where uh, public comment was with uh, with Mr. Fryer, the council is going to be probably trying to lobby for uh, the federal stimulus funds, not the stimulus money, the infrastructure money to do something for that large flood plan. Okay. That, that's where we're at with that. Okay. So if uh, I, I know I followed up with the engineer about a month ago uh, to say, Hey, where were you at with your plans to show like, you know, uh, uh, option four what's where we left it in October, where, putting in like a quasi lake or what have you somewhere upstream up McLaughlin run. And uh, his modeling wasn't really supporting that, but uh, they were going to get me a definitive answer, but it wasn't looking like it was going to be the <coughs> solve all uh, solve all. Okay. Um, so I do have a question since we do have three different plans for flood mitigation in the borough and um, as far as I know, nobody has definitely said we're going this route or that route, correct? That's correct. Okay, so now how do we get out of this sort of log jam so uh, that it looks like we can do something? Um, I, I think it's rather simple. Uh, I think one, let's confirm that option four, it, you can always have an endless supply of options. Correct. So like, right. I don't want to open Pandora's box here. Right. So let, let's just keep it simple that uh, let's confirm that where we left in October, that option four is doable or not. Okay. We, we can come back and then we can say, Hey, which one of these do we support? We vote on it and make a, a, a recommendation to council that option one, two, <laughs> or three is uh is, is the quote unquote flood plan that we would like the borough council to consider. And then council can take it or, or, or choose elsewise. Okay. But uh, really for, from memory, the three options were one, let's uh, leave everything as it is, but take the crick, like, uh, what was it? Repair Bower Hill Road, basically dig it down like seven feet to get a good road base, put it back raise the Baldwin Street Bridge so that it's higher for high water events, Rem have the county repair or, I mean, replace the bridge uh, up here at Bower Hill Road so that center pier is out of there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it puts all the levees in, it puts the pumps on, you know, the, the dry side so that water on the dry side can be pumped into the creek. And, and there's flood walls basically from the roller skating rink all the way up to the park. You know, this is uh, not precise, but generally speaking. Right. Option two uh, did away with the Baldwin Street Bridge and uh, made Baldwin Street into a dead end street called a sack. Right. Uh, and that's the only difference. And then option three was kind of the larger uh, grandiose plan that did away with Bower Hill Road, 
put a roundabout in where uh, Baldwin Street intersects with McLaughlin Run, uh, and it sends all the Bar Hill traffic down McG uh, Bar uh, Baldwin Street, but it takes a lot of properties to make the traffic flow. So those are the three plans that were uh, shared with us. So let me see where we are with the fourth option we asked him to consider. Okay. And then uh, we can have it come back and then we can take a vote on it. And then it's it's off our plate and uh, okay. it's up for uh, council to say, uh, hey, this is the official flood plan of the borough and we're going to work to get the money to make it happen. Uh, okay. Each one was roughly 20 to $25 million. So right. it's going to take a lot of legwork on, uh, on how to finance it. So it, it would be nice to have that official recommendation on such a large scale capital project from planning commission. So we, we've had the plans presented to us. We had the engineer here. We asked the engineer to do some work, which he is doing. We just need to get it back and show me on paper that it's done. And then we need to take a vote. Okay. All right. At least that's my perspective of where I would think we would take this. Okay. Now I'd be open to anything, but uh, that, that, that seems the most logical. Okay. So now the other question that I have is that can, is that something that we ask for with the uh, infrastructure money or no? Or is that totally no, 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 that's uh, that is where uh, I've been getting um, uh, in conversation with council members is that, hey, the federal government is putting together uh, a large scale infrastructure plan, right. not the stimulus money. Right. Uh, the, and maybe this is the ticket to make this happen. So they haven't come out yet with the infrastructure plan, you know, that I'm aware of that uh, that we can start applying for. Right. So, we need to start getting our ducks in a row fast, you know, right. within the next month or two, so that, you know, when the funding does open up, we have a plan, we, we vetted it, we, as a community said, hey, this is what we want, you know, a majority vote has spoken, and uh, council can take that and direct me to start applying for grants. Okay, all right. And, and can you, is it a, there a possibility of perhaps throwing in some more um, um, Bower Hill slash infrastructure changes with that same project? I, I don't see why not, you know, because if we're going to do this, this is, we're going to do it together, you know. Okay. And uh, that was the whole idea when you look at option one what was getting that fixed. Okay, all right, okay. All right, thanks for that. Any other questions? <coughs> all right, um, all right, so I'm going to open it up to any other public members again. Is uh, is your excuse me? This is Bob again. Is your meeting coming to an end right now? I yeah. Okay, I I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just want to mention uh, two other things. <laughs> excuse me. The uh, uh, when when you guys eventually pick, I guess the city planning firm that you want to have update your comprehensive plan. It's essential that you tell them that you want uh, Bridgeville transformed into a, uh, to have a, a business district or two business districts that can successfully compete in this South Hills area, suburban area. That means you have, uh, studies have shown, two of them have indicated that 50% of the people in the five mile radius of Bridgeville have been driving around the town for 50 years because of the traffic problem by solving the traffic problem you'll end up having twice the number of consumer motorists drive through the community that's point number one point number two is in terms of solving the flood problem i think you better get a fifth uh typical solution because uh, i uh the dep the University of Pittsburgh School of Engineering and the study that I did 
indicated that the Bower Hill Road Bridge is not the problem. It's the uh, Commercial Street Bridge. So you, someone is going to take a closer look at that. I, I, I'm, abs- I'm certain that's not the problem. And the other thing I was going to mention, Bower Hill Road is the bridge where for 25 years the junk has been uh, gathering the debris, you know, and with the new debris catcher up uh, in the park, uh, I, are you guys, do you guys feel confident that that will stop the, the, the big stuff from getting into Bridgeville? What do you think? Personally, I think that there's, there's nothing like in medicine, nothing's a hundred percent guaranteed that something's not going to happen. And, you know, we we start, we plan for a hundred year flood and all of a sudden now we're planning for a 500 year flood. And (laughs) there's no guarantee in all honesty that that whatever we do is going to resolve all the issues. Well, I just, yeah, I just, uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time before you adjourn, but uh, the, I don't think you have to spend $25 million making a major improvement in reducing the flooding in Bridgeville. I, 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 I'm just, I'm convinced of that. And, and experts, uh, I agree with them or they agree with me. So I think you ought to you ought to open up. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll, you'll take other suggestions. I think you should do that. All right. All right. All right, thank you, Bob Fryer. And hey, 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 what? <clears throat> all right. Um, anybody else have any comments before we end? Before we adjourn? All right. So I need a motion to adjourn. All right. I'll make a motion. All right, second. Dale's muted, so I'll confirm his second <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe nobody wanted to leave <laughs> <laughs> come on all righty well the meeting is adjourned thank you all very much for a thank you justine meeting. thank you justine thank, thank you. you thank you bye go look at that yeah. super moon <laughs> thank you guys have a good evening thanks hey, hey well, once again congratulations you guys yeah i think you're on the on the new page going in a new direction uh, f- for the benefit of the community. And uh, I'm uh, 